Welcome to the COVID-19 update for today, Friday, August 26, 2022. And as usual for this discussion, I have the Minister of Health, Dr. Frank Anthony, with me. Dr. Anthony, thank you for joining us again. So, so yesterday we've had uh, 301 um, tests that was done at our facilities and of the 301 tests that was done, 18 of those were positive. Um, currently we are tracking 289 persons uh, with COVID across the country. We, we have seen a slight reduction in hospitalization. So right now we have eight people in hospitals across the country. Six of the eight are currently at Ocean View and uh, two of those are in the intensive care unit. Vaccination, we need to do more. Um, yesterday we administered about 232 doses. But again, I think there's a lot of um, work that we need to do. We have administered 72,410 booster doses. And while, you know, we're encouraging more people to come out and get their booster doses, the people who are most vulnerable are people who are older and persons who have comorbidities. But when we look at the age categories for people who have come for the booster doses. So let's say between 17 and 12, 487 persons um, got their boosters. Between 29 and 18, uh, 11,674 persons. Uh, between 39 and 30, 11,428 persons. Between 59 and 40, uh, 27,082 persons and persons above 60 it's 21,739 so if we are we want to encourage older people because they're more vulnerable then obviously we need to take up this 21,000 to a much higher number um, and as you get older you will have some underlying illnesses and therefore, this is a group that is more vulnerable and should really come out and get their vaccines. We are not seeing that ready uptake that we would like to see among this age group. Again, we have lots of vaccines that are available and really we keep encouraging people to come and make sure they get it.